Got a whole box full of these Dremels for free from a friend. Um, they were all in various states of having issues. And three of them are this model, which is a 395, I think. Yeah, Dremel 395. Um, and they all had very similar problems. Two of them didn't do anything. Um, and one of them, this one, uh, would only work uh, on full blast. Uh, and I did some research, and uh, you know, I did the normal things. You can take these switch apart, switch assemblies apart, and there's you know a little board in there. You can clean the contacts with some contact cleaner and all that. You can also take this out. And one of the problems that uh, I noticed on the one that would only go full blast was there's this brass contact right there in the corner and it's just kind of spring loaded and it presses down. Sorry, I hope this will focus. Presses down on that corner. Focus. Presses down on that top right corner to make contact with it. Um, but the actual final problem with these is this triac goes out. And you cannot, well, you can buy this model of Triac, but you have to get them off of like eBay and you have to get like five of them and they're not outrageously cheap. Um, or I should say you have to get them from China off of eBay since that uh, no, no local, at least to the U.S. sellers carry them anymore, like Mouser and DigiKey just list them as obsolete so they don't have them. So I had to go look for a close equivalent uh, replacement part, and I came up with the ST, like ST Microelectronics Z7M. Um, seemed to fit the specifications pretty darn close, if not exact. Uh, I'm not that great at dissecting um, data sheets, especially between two different manufacturers, you know, you can easily compare one manufacturer's data sheet between a couple parts, but different manufacturers have different layouts and they use slightly different terminology and you kind of got to do some digging. And I don't, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So <laughs> found these, uh, sets one piece for two bucks, which isn't a great deal because, you know, it should be like an 80 cent part if you were to order them in bulk. But I took took a chance on it, free shipping, and I actually ended up getting two. I'm pretty sure I didn't actually order two, but maybe I did. I'll have to check my stuff again, but it said, I think my eBay order page said a total of $199. But anyway, um, if you have one of these, especially these 395s, which seem to be the only ones that or the ones that really exhibit this problem. You know, first you can try cleaning up these contacts very carefully. They might be all dusty and caked. Um, you can also try carefully cleaning the tabs on the bottom of the little switch plate thingy here. Uh, the name escapes me. Wipers. Um, you can see, baby, maybe, these are actually ground down a little bit flat from so much use. Uh, but that should be fine. Uh, just you know, take care if yours are worn, not to you know go crazy with sandpaper and wear them down even more. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna replace the triac on this one now. Um, it's not the easiest solder job, but I'm gonna put a new one of those on this board. Um, like I mentioned before, this one has already been fixed. I already put one of those on there. I've got another. Another one of these ST Z7Ms in here. Here's the old one, uh, which you can see does not show. It. I mean, it didn't explode. It didn't uh, melt or pop or anything. There's a bit of discoloration on the side, but I mean, it looks like it's totally fine. I've seen some pictures online of people that have had them totally bubble up, uh, which obviously is not going to work at all. So anyway going to go ahead and uh, solder a new one on this board and reassemble another one of these. Getting pretty good at reassembling these things. I've probably taken apart and reassembled one of these Dremels a total of 30 times, 40 times. <laughs> Just trying to diagnose them. 
uh, and clean them and fiddle with them. So, yeah, I'll be right back. Well, darn. Uh, I was looking at the other boards and I was doing a continuity check on the slide, the wipe slide slider spots, and the the continuous second one right there that looks kind of burnt out. It is actually burnt out and doesn't uh, make continuity at all from the start point to the finish, uh, which ends up being the same with the other board which I already put the track on. <laughs> I thought there was still some on there, but no, it's just kind of gray. It doesn't actually, there's, yeah, it doesn't make it. So both of those boards have actually been worn out. Um, I'm gonna take that triac off of there since I know it's good and try and keep it someplace safe, I guess. I'll probably just lose it. I'll throw it in my electronics box anyway and Ooh, I know what I should do. Label it. That's a good, good idea. Um, but anyway, so I got the one out of the three working. Um, you can buy new boards like this, I think, for 20 bucks or something. So if you have nothing else you can do, I think you can source these still from Dremel somehow. If you need, really need to get your Dremel working, but I don't know if that's... It's, it's going to be your own kind of Way the cost situation whether you just want to buy a new one probably already bought a new one if yours doesn't work but anyway yep replace the track and restored one of the three uh from having only high speed maximum speed to fully functional so that's not bad two dollar fix and i got an extra track out of it and i learned things so not bad anyway thanks for watching